Hi, everyone. This is Jackie Cooper with Crypto Mom 2 Talk Show, and I want to welcome everyone back to this episode. I'm very excited to introduce my guest today. I actually met him at the NFT Expoverse, which um, happened maybe about a week or so ago in Los Angeles, and I'll talk to you more about that in a quick second. I want to remind everyone, definitely like and subscribe because there are many, many other guests that will be hopping on and topics that I'll be talking about to include um, what's going on in the blockchain, cryptocurrency, metaverse, NFT space, you name it, we're going to cover it. Um, there's always a lot of current events, and I'll also be giving you updates on my book, The Bitcoin Cinderella, because it's about to be translated into three other languages, so I'm really excited about that. But today, it is all about a vision that this gentleman has created, and it's all about a vision of hope and the globe and peace and how we can come together to make Make that happen. So I, I'd like to welcome you to uh, Crypto Mom 2. How are you doing today? I'm good, Jackie. It's a pleasure to meet you again. Yeah. So I, you know, I had no clue when I went into the exhibit space what I saw in front of me. And I um, unfortunately was kind of focused on, on my exhibit and Bitcoin Cinderella. But then when I had a break from the exhibit area, I was able to come and explore. And I thought, wow, this is really powerful because I saw this huge area and all these little figurines and these images on both sides. And, you know, then this tall image. And so I really... I want you to describe everything. I we see for those that are on the audio side, you have to hop over to the YouTube side so that way you can kind of see the visual. For those that are on the YouTube side, um, also you're going to be seeing a lot that you can actually all the the links will be embedded, so you can go in. You can also visit a gallery and you can support in every way. So I definitely want everyone to know if you don't have paper and pen, don't worry. We're going to be mentioning what links to go to, but. It will be embedded and you'll be able to support. So um, so talk to me. Tell me more about, um, you know, both what we see behind you as well as your background. I know that you have a very rich story and I want to share it all. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor to be here and be in this moment and connect with you and connect with anybody else in the future is going to uh, um, watch this. Uh, you know, there's a lot of us are very concerned about all the wars and mass destructions, all the bad news by constantly being fed to us. And it's really is happening. And uh, uh, global uh, warming, uh, the pandemic and, and, and uh, starvations and, and, and all the conflicts. Uh, the, what I happen to do with this brand, which is called Asan, we create I created a brand to inspire global peace. It all started me being six years old. I remember born and raised in Sweden, Iranian family. We go and fly uh, and then visit my grandparents' house. At that age, just clueless and just innocent. And then suddenly one night I see their airplane that are bombing the whole city. That traumatic experience led me through this journey of asking, um, what is going on? And, and why, and, and, and why? And that whole teenage year, I started recognizing that as we know from the beginning of history, up to now, there's been war after war, and it is ongoing pattern as we know. And, and that why led me to say, forget about why, because it was a very depressing answer. We probably all know why. Now I said, let's focus on how, is there a way that we can actually focus? And is there any way that we can actually uh, find a way that ending the war, experiencing and witnessing and realizing global peace, is that possible? Uh, and that answer became so clear, and precise and crystal clear to me. And that answer was as simple as unity and oneness. Mm -hmm. We truly authentically recognize that we are one human family. We all connected. We, no matter what country you are, no matter what nationality, no matter what race or culture or gender, whatever you live, doesn't matter. We all connect it. We all step in this planet Earth within a heartbeat. That is just the physics, the science is already demonstrating that. And when we truly authentically recognize where we are on one human family, you just don't go kill your family members no more. 
you just don't do that you just don't go don't go and you know how different you are how much difference you have how much arguments you have uh how much no matter what you just don't go and kill your mother or brother or sister or sibling and grandson or grandparents you just don't do that now that became so clear to me when oneness was the answer and it was i was around 22 and at that age um 9 11 happened those traumatic experiencing brought came in live again to me and um the only thing that i was good at was art and i had a teacher that always told me that create something that was never created and create that is innovative so i mixed that innovative style of art that i had that you know i was gifted with with this spiritual message that i'm going to create an art collection that when it comes together it's going to be so big so monumental and it's going to be expressing unity through unity pieces possible so i've been in this journey of creating it and i have some slideshow i can actually show so they can yeah. actually be visual yeah. I, I love visuals and um now the 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 art that's right behind you is that part of what yes. you created okay yes okay. well you see it is part of that before i kind of reveal it i'm going to start from the introduction here okay that would be great now this is where i started asking why and that why led me how and this is me at age 22, over 19 years ago, my parents' house, I uh, I've suddenly a click and I knew I'm here to express this. There's this vacuum, nobody hardly is talking enough so we can promote it. So I just use my own uh, talented way. And these are the fraction of that. Back then, as you see, I was involved. I had some hair one day. <laughs> And what happened is I was just guided to create these abstract faces. What you see behind me, they are abstract yeah. faces. So yeah. very cubism, cubism and a little bit of abstraction and um, on and on and on. There's like a lot of different style in there. Pop art, impressionism, some of them have. Now, this was my first display. I started just creating this art and I was just guided to just filling the, all the ceiling entire my parents' house. I love it. Literally, Literally bedroom, massive bedroom, my brother's room. And then we went downstairs. We just started creating. And then I just hung him. And I started orderly numbering them. About four years later, um, the, as I was creating over a thousand of them, um, I, 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 you know, you know, borrowed the tennis court of our clubhouse. <laughs> there was this, guy, this lady, she was a director. She wanted to do a documentary and then she wanted to shoot it. So we kind of did a display here. What are these abstract faces? It's about us. It's about us. And uh, it's about the roller coaster of life, the, ex the human experience. So all the role, you know, emotion that we're going through, from the ups and the downs, from sadness to happiness. I love, I love, I, I'm just, I'm going to interrupt you for a second because I'm looking at the various art. And for those that are on the audio side, you really have to pop over because you have the eyes that are sort of embedded within the various geometric shapes and you can see the figures being, you know, the, the personality of the various characters that are on the screens, um, you know, both from, it looks some, some look like animals, some look like people, but, or, you know, people that are, you know, in different figure shapes. So, I mean, it just, um, there's a lot of vibrant colors. I, again, um, I can definitely, you know, it makes me laugh and smile as I'm looking at this because of the fact that um, it's so unique and, you know, it's so inspired because again, like you were talking about with everything going all over, um, it's not like computer generated these are you know they came from, yeah yeah exactly they, they they're all unique which is uh very very special to just make it short it ended up being a collection of two thousand paintings like a puzzle they're going to come together and turn into a 17 story of a painting that expresses unity and peace and oneness so, now before i get there as these all are called the vision collection. There's 1,670 abstract faces, which I call them the vision collection. It's at the end, it finds peace. It this reminds me, sorry to interrupt. It reminds me of stained glass windows. Yes. A lot of people yeah. say that too. Yeah. Use it for that. For example, this painting is connection. 
Yeah. It was one of the last paintings after 1,670 of them. This is actually 1,630 series. Um, that's a, it basically, if we pay attention, there's a quote here. It talks, it says, the children of Adam are limbs to each other, having been creator of one essence. Mm -hmm. are connected it's 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 a persian shakespeare very famous that this actually this quote is actually engraved in united nation entry door so i was inspired to make this wow one of the last painting this as this has evolved is the discovery of humanity and this yeah. shows that it has infinite in, infinite intelligence these hands and the legs a representation that can achieve anything but at core is made of unconditional love right in yes. the center yes now, the last painting, which we call the arrival, going through this roller coaster of life, this is where he finds peace. This is the mother, which is right there behind us. That is the original. And the nine babies, part of this mother is this. It knocks on all the doors. And the only drawer, the only door that truly authentically opened in this pathway is the heart. Wow. And that's where he finds serenity and peace. No. Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, you know, again, that is a um, a message that we sometimes forget because of the various things that happen within our life, you know, um, and I think that's like you said at the beginning, that's why the division happens because we forget um, our spirit, we forget our connection, we forget the heartfelt center that we all have and um, the fact that we really do need to lead with unconditional love but a lot of times we put strings on it and reasons we we kind of say that the, it has to be but in fact it doesn't so um i love what you're i love what you're creating as this when i came to the conclusion and i said okay to the divine you want me to create this what what should i do now and, and then i suddenly was guided to start framing them and when i started to frame them some of them these are examples some of them even have the white stripe yeah um, I knew that I'm going to make a 2000 painting and one day going to turn to a piece painting. Now, this is a great example. This painting, when it gets framed, you put 25 paintings together. This is right in the center. Right. And then put 225 paintings is right here in the center. Yep. And 2000 painting, that painting goes right there. That's beautiful. All countries and all abstract faces, when they become one, like a puzzle, like a mural, like a collage, it turns to a huge 17 story monolith when they're all put together. That's the front side. It's called Vision of Unity. You will see two peace signs. You will see the dub and the flags together, the contemporary peace sign. You will see the ancient peace sign, the olive branch and the dub. The back side, I went even more crazy. I said, okay, well, you know, the reason I did that. We need to find a common denominator that we can actually unite under. Is it some, is it like a, a United States constitution that we can unite under? Well, in this country, yes. But is it something, do we need something that is going to be impermanent, everlasting, like the gravity? What is that common denominator? So I painted all of them from the backside. This painting from the backside is just a piece of a cloud. Yes. And when you put look at it from all the backside, you see infinite love covering planet Earth. I love it. Unconditional yeah. love. Anything right. that is heart-based, compassion, mm -hmm. forgiveness, faith, hope, joy, anything that you can is aligned, anything that is not fear-based. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. We can come together. Those so, are that's the attributes. This, when you look at this painting. You will see the same way when all of these planets and all of these galaxies have coexisted for billions and trillions of years in harmony and serenity. Why? Because they follow their own nature. When humanity starts following its own true essential nature, which is that heart base, unconditional love, we will see peace in a planet. That's the ultimate message. And um, here is a one minute video, one painting, the I love back, it. from the front side, they're 42 by 40 inch, all from the bigger pictures, shows the front side. 
And then you're gonna look at the back side. This happened to be just black. All the way as, as the totality was the infinite love covering planet Earth and our solar system as a viewpoint. The whole project from the front side is called the vision of unity and the front side, back side is called vision of peace. That's why the whole project, the collection is called vision of unity and peace. So um, you have, oh, and now for those that are on the audio side, you do have to come over because again, you can actually see the front and the back and how the- um, Assembly. Yeah, how it was assembled. Yeah, for sure. Um, so are you, um, again, I have so many questions. From, from the physical side, um, are you gonna be taking these pictures and putting them in a park or are you going to be, um, I know we're going to talk about the non-fungible token side, but um, I know you have a gallery, but what's, I mean, there's so many possibilities for this. So which, uh, which direction are you going? And I know you can do everything, but um, which way are you heading first or simultaneously? I had no idea what NFT was last year. Yeah. I was just in this journey of uh, creating an art masterpiece i'm humbled that i'm part of this and created was an yeah. instrument to creating this i um, and somebody last year just told me son you can make nft out of each one of these 2000 painting i said what is nft and now after uh, eight months or so uh, people have been collecting a lot of them you have people have actually bought this like a candy store um, because Every one of the front side, we released them. All the 2000 painting from the front side was released. And um, the image of the front side is an NFT product, just NFT. The original painting, which is the fine art, that's gonna be displayed in, in major galleries, museums, uh, major exhibitions. People can go indoor and have an experience of the fine art itself. Now we're going to create a replica out of it. And what you see that the replica I've called a limited edition, which is going to have a stand and you can actually display them all. And when actually you came to the expo, we just had a very mini version of it. We yes, actually... it, was, it was very, very, for those that weren't able to come, it was like a, a tabletop version of it. Yes, yes. People could actually have an experience, can see it. And there's pictures uh, of, uh, of the expo and I'd be happy to share it to you and, and people can see it. Um, now this is kind of we call this the walkthrough yeah the first version is actually we put a stand and we just lay them on the floor on the ground and and organize it and people can go walk between each side of it and from this then you will see the peace sign from back side you will see the infinite love this is the first version of it ultimately what we want to do um I, there's a lot of more details here i'm not going to get too much what you know there are the Visions, um, which is the 1670 uh, collection series. There's 14 painting that's called the Mission Collection, how you can actually get to peace. Uh, and uh, there is an eye, there's three hearts. Uh, we have the olive branch, we have the flags. There's 272 flags in here. Each one of them has actually a map in there. These flags are the only one that I did not hand painted, but I digitally designed them in the future stages, we want to invite other artists, top artists, established artists to actually that are coming from those countries, yes. paint the flag with me. So that's why I just kind of made a digital design I of it. Understood. Um, and um, ultimately, um, that was just a, a short example of what this is about. This is potentially going to be the world's largest piece painting, 19 years in the making. I've been in this journey of creating an art and, uh, and that expo was actually our first exposure, public exposure, which we call the NFT drop because we have NFT product out of this fine art side of it. And we have a mission statement. What is our mission? Our mission is, is to inspire global peace, be a global symbol demonstrating that through unity peace is possible. That is our first step. The second, we are building this. I have, a, I have a group of Tibo people that we are actually expanding. We are building it as a major fine art luxury brand and giving half of the proceeds to, to charities. So imagine they collect a piece of Louis Vuitton 
or a piece of Picasso, Andy Warhol, and half of that goes to charities. That's how we want this brand to be about. In order to get to pieces through unity, in order to put unity in action is through service and charity. So that's why we want to promote and be a symbol of that brand. And the third step, which is the exciting part of it, we want to build vision of unity and peace centers all across the world. That is our vision. And uh, I understand promotion, promotion, promotion is what's a concept get accepted. And this topic of peace needs to be promoted more than ever. And I feel that the divine used me um, and to be an instrument. And I have a group of people as a team of people, we are actually putting it together so we can actually use this as a vehicle, as a voice that people can one day look at it, a little kiddo look at it, or anybody look at it, if he can do it, of course peace is possible. I can contribute with my own talents the same way that you are doing right now. We all have a talent here to contribute. We all have a mission. So that's what we want to do. What is that center? This is what the center is. We're going to build the whole monolith. This is about a 25-story building. The original size of the painting, when it comes together with the frame, is almost a 20-story. With the foundation, which is five-story, is almost a 25-story building. This is a world-renowned ar architect that designed it for us. And uh, we have been on a conversation, even Dubai, even right here, Orange County Great Park. They have been very interested to build this. Imagine that we have that whole center that are going to have all of those activities that are going to inspire peace from from the community side of it, community service, cultural side of it, from a spiritual side of it, even from eco and business side of it, even from the natural side of bringing nature involved with it. That is our goal to build this. The first version of it, of course, that's gonna go in a metaverse because that's gonna be future oriented. We are actually very adapting ourselves with this yeah. art yeah. With, with the future which we are living more than half our lives in the internet and web three is coming up. NFT is the, is the, is that certificate that you own, you'll have ownership of it. And metaverse is something else that's going to be one of the future ways that people can communicate instead of zoom call in the future, probably everybody going to do in metaverse communicated right there. And now we're going to build this Vope center. And this is how it looks like you go in here. There's a huge land. You look at this whole art, you go inside of it, it's all of those top programming that I was talking about. Each, imagine you have all of the country representation, all the languages, a community center, a sanctuary place, music, art, business, eco-friendly goods and services. From outside, you walk around and you look at this monolith, a place that it, anything that is aligned with unity and peace bring us together. And that art is going to be the focal point, like a statue of liberty, like an Eiffel Tower, but it's going to be about peace, global peace. We, let's come together and let's promote this message in a monumental way, in a center, center of attraction. That is our vision to do it. That's what we are going to be building as we just kind of growing this is not an overnight thing that I created. I've been working on this for 19 years and all this little step is gonna to come together uh, when, however the uni universe wants us to come, the right time, the perfect timing. I definitely understand that and I definitely believe in that. Um, and I know that these visions take a while and the foundation and the creation first started with you and now you're bringing a team together. And um, so there really is unlimited possibility for sure. I mean, I, I, I can definitely resonate with everything that you're talking about because um, for many years I've volunteered with a charity whose focus has been on empowering children and also focused on unity and peace. So that's something that I don't always talk about on the show, but it's there. Amen. And, um, you know, and the reason why I created the Bitcoin Cinderella is I realized that like you were talking about um, families and parents and youth, uh, they're becoming exposed to what's happening on the blockchain and they, need to come forward and learn more because it's we're all interconnected and uh using the cinderella story i, I was able to kind of incorporate a lot and she's going to go on an adventure around the world with the same purpose that you were talking about in terms of um sharing cultures sharing glo the global community and um having people and having others in the story kind of 
be brought together to understand why we're all so interconnected. I mean, again, sometimes the initial project um, has a certain focus, but the, the long-term mission is larger, just like you with the initial pictures. And then all of a sudden it kind of morphed into something that is actually um, a huge epicenter within a building and a um, uh, acreage and, you know, where people can come and, and enjoy. And I, I recently was in Dubai visiting friends, so I can definitely see how the UAE would be very open to this because they have a museum of the future and they're very both present in the moment, but also looking at where we need to go for the future. So I can see how that might, you know, overlap because of their global community. Um, so I'm very excited about what you're doing, you know, for sure. And I also, um, like you, I did not know about non-fungible tokens until last year. I think it was last April that I was introduced to it. And um, so it's been a learning journey for me as well. And at the NFT Expoverse, actually, the book, um, the Bitcoin Cinderella, actually got uploaded into um, OpenSea as the first published digital book. And Project Arc, um, who I have been partnered with in a few different things, they did the technical side and their, their whole purpose is social impact uh, NFTs and projects that are to help protect our planet. What? So there's uh, a lot of overlap with what you're doing, with what you know I'm doing, with what they're doing. So what I encourage everyone to do who's listening to this, um, click on the links that are going to be below, see how you can get involved, whether it's asking questions, whether it's visiting the gallery or, you know, looking at the NFT side or whatever other projects that might be happening. Because um, for both of us, there are evolving things that we're both doing. And we're here to help you educate and also be part of everyone is like a pebble and our pebble kind of creates ripples and those ripples ripple out to others and we never know who we're going to impact or help so everyone can has to have be a part of the process of creating the peace and the unity so um anything else that you'd like to share do you want to mention the the website and where they can visit uh i will have it embedded below it's simple as 2000 paintings.com 200 paintings.com uh, that just take it to my website. Uh, initially, it's visionsbyasan.com, the same thing. Uh, we just use 2000paintings.com, easy for people to remember. Um, um, for me, it's just I am looking to um, share this. Uh, this is about an issue that we need to expand. Yeah. And, uh, people can get involved. When you involve, you collect, you share, you support this, you are part of this vision and investing on a noble cause asset class um, that we believe does it is driven by a noble cause. Uh, it was a pleasure. I'm just gonna make it short, but here's what I wanna end. Yeah. Imagine we live in a time that global peace is our reality. It's really hard to comprehend that because that's never happened. I always make this example. Over 150 years ago, around that time, there was slavery in this country. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you go in that past in 150 years and then talk with those individuals that were enslaved and you tell them, hey, one day in this country, they're never going to be going to end it. They're going to end the slavery. You're going to be able to be free. It will be really hard to comprehend that. But what I'm here, what this art is, what this brand is, what our team is here, we are here to embrace a message that humanity can evolve enough because right now with a click of a button, we can destroy the whole planet. Yeah. And I was a six years old. The reason I've been doing this is because I don't want our future great, great six years olds ever, ever going that, through that process again. We are worthy of a better reality. We are worthy to have global peace and it's time to grow up and I'm here. And that's what this vision is about. That's what this art, that's what this vision of unity and peace centers. That's what all this Asan brand is going to represent, is going to continuously uh, promote. And I, I, I see so many things in my mind right now that I am very excited about for you. 
Um, and I know that we're going to be doing more than one episode. So I love that we were able to share your story and your vision. And everyone remember, um, as I always say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We are all part of one world and we are also interconnected. So have a great day. Talk to you later. Thank you.